I hear, I summon all my imps. Hey everybody, it's Annabelle. Oh, uh, so as of now, uh, High Evolutionary hasn't been taken care of. And if you don't know what's going on with High Evolutionary, I do apologize. But High Evolutionary is currently not in the shop. The secondary has said that it's going to take a patch update, an actual client safe patch update. And because of that fact, you're looking at a couple days behind that. And what upsets me about this is not the fact that this happened. Not the fact that there's a mistake because we all make mistakes, you know, it happens. Not the fact that it's going to take a couple days for it to happen. If you knew anything about how these systems work, you know that this happened on Monday night, which basically by the time this released, everybody had gone home from second dinner for sure. So the first time that anybody could really do anything about this was this morning. And they've got to go to Apple and they've got to go to Steam. And they've got to get permission from Apple and Steam to have better uh, patch brought up. So, and even though the second dinner can pay extra money and, and try to get their stuff pushed up, sometimes these things, no matter how much money you throw at them, you're, you're still looking at like 24, 48 hours for anything to be done because there's certain software that just has to be ran. There's certain people who have to look at stuff, and that just takes time. There's, they've got to find out what happened to this code. And make sure that this doesn't happen again in the future. But that's not what I'm trying to talk about today. I'm not even trying to bring out torches and pitchforks to try to get some sort of compensation for this. What upsets me is there's two different things that upset me. Well, maybe three different things. Number one, I saved up tokens for this. And, and that's more amusing than anything else in the world. Because I don't normally try to collect cards when they first come out. I usually wait and see what happens. This was an exciting one for me. But... That's neither here nor there. If, if it gets fixed down the road, and somewhere they offer me this for 6,000 tokens, I'll pick it up again. As long as this gets fixed before the next rotation, or they do something where we can buy it, maybe like down here, where it says choose a card or fast upgrade, where they put like a special uh, place where we can just buy it, or maybe even in the uh, daily offers or something like that. And that's fine. I, I'm, I'm not going to try to fight that or anything. What upsets me the most is the lack of information. So this is the Steam account that I'm on. And on the Steam account, if we were to go up to the very, very tippy top where the uh, newspaper is, there's nothing here in the news, there's nothing in the inbox, and there's nothing in the video. This has been an issue with Steam and Marvel staff since the first day that it came out. The first day that it came on the Steam, for whatever reason, they've never been able to put information on here. It looks completely different on your phone if you're to look on the phone. But what upsets me more is if you go to their news and you click where it says read more, you actually go to the read more section. Hold on for just a second. This is what it looks like on the Read More session. This is Marvel Snap's official website. And you can see on the latest news, they're still talking about card acquisition. This did not require anybody's input. This did not require you to go to Apple. This did not require you to go to Google. This did not require you to go on Steam. They could have put the latest news on there. 
you go to their official website for their YouTube. The last thing that they posted was three weeks ago. I should not have to hunt. I should not have to scratch. I should not have to worry about trying to find this information. This information, when stuff like this happens, should be out in front and center as quickly as possible. You shouldn't be having to go to Reddit and Discord to find out this information. It should be readily available for everybody, everywhere, and every time. And yes, I get that they might not have been able to put it out last night. But it's been a day since this has happened. So, by now somebody should have been able to write up something. Because, if you go to Marvel Snap Zone, which is not owned by Marvel Snap as far as I know. Here's where you find out the information for High Evolution. And this is released basically right after the patch would happen. So, for some reason, for some way, for some shape, some form, the people at Second Dinner, the people at, uh, I'm uh, sorry, at uh, Snap Zone, we're able to get the information out quicker than the people who actually run the game. And there's something very weird and strange about that. That I have to go to a site like this to find out the information. That's not technically an official normal site. It's a fan run site. The, the fact that I've been looking all day for videos on, on this stuff, and the only videos that I've seen out there were mine, on a zombie's nose, nom nom, and like, I think there was one other, and that was it. And if you're watching my videos, you are already in the know. It, it's just... When... You think about stuff like this, when you think about stuff like errors and, and mistakes that, that a company can make. We're not trying to make that company perfect. We're not trying to ask for a whole We all know that stuff happens. There's still millions of lines of coding and changing us colon to semicolon and coding can change everything. But getting the information should be readily available. I should see tons of stuff when I log into Marvel Snap that says, Hey, we know that this is an issue. Hey, we know that there's something wrong with high evolution. Don't get it from the shop yet. Don't, don't open up your caches yet. But none of that is there yet. It's all just a matter of if you know, you know, and if you don't, you know. There's something sad and wrong about that. Yes, I get that, you know, things have to show up and things to show up because of the stuff on Google and Astron Steam. But she controlled this website. This website is yours. You don't need anybody's approval to change the website to update the website. Put a news article up here. Make a quick YouTube video that says, we under, we saw, this is what's going on, this is where we're currently at, yeah, we'll let you know. Make, make a press release. <laughs> and don't just put it on Discord, don't just put it on Reddit. Some people don't know you have a Discord, some people don't know you have a I, I, I fear for anybody who bought Howard Deduct figuring that, oh, this must be the error, that it's Howard Deduct, and it's supposed to be high evolutionary, and that's just what happened. I don't want this to turn into the next kitty pride. There's a part of me that does and would love for this card to be given out to everybody, but that's a big thing to second dinner because 
High Evolution was supposed to be one of the big bads. If you give one of the big bads away, it's always going to be 6,000 collector's tokens. That's, that, that's a big bite for you guys. Fix the stuff that you can fix. Update the stuff that you can update. Yes, there are some mistakes that are going to happen. Yes, there's going to be errors in the future. But if everybody knows right off the bat, it makes it easier. If I went to people and said, Hey, did you hear about high evolution? And they were like, Oh, yeah, but it's right on page there. Everybody knows. Then that'd be great. It's weird to be the town crier. I mean, I, I'm going to be the town crier for this, for this company. I'm going to put out as much as I can, when I can. If news like this hits me, I'm going to report it as quickly as I can. But it shouldn't be that way. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. And as always, remember, please.